One place that cash is not going today is into Stitch Fix. That company's shares are down by nearly 30% right now. Uh, the company reported a net loss, blamed that, uh, among other things, on carrier delays in getting shipments of its clothing out to its clients. The company also came out with sort of a lackluster forecast. Um, Brian, I know you're watching this one. You know, Stitch Fix has really had a lot of ups and downs over the past several years since it came public. Julie, I wish I wasn't watching this because this is a, a horrific, <laughs> horrific move in Stitch, Flick, Stitch Fix. And I, I feel as though a lot of analysts on the street are just mincing words and they're, they're jumping beyond the obvious here. This was an awful quarter and it was awful guidance from the company. Where is the guidance that this could happen three to six months ago? And you didn't see it. Out of all the comments on the earnings call last night, yeah, you, you mentioned the carrier delays and, and higher costs. That is a consideration, but this is the most worrisome comment that I got from Stitch Fix last night. Uh, the founder and CEO, Katrina Lake, noting uh, the consumers were seeing uh, uh, a less self-purchase behavior, so that is subsiding, and that is being replaced with gifting behavior. And what that essentially tells me is consumers are not viewing Stitch Fix as an important place to shop. It's not top of mind, uh, potentially, as the economy reopens and people are buying apparel, and they are starting to buy apparel. It just doesn't appear to be from Stitch Fix. Yeah, really interesting. I and mean, I know you've been watching those other apparel buying trends happening elsewhere. Not happening, I guess, with sporting apparel either. Uh, Dick Sporting Goods came out with its numbers, also came out with a sort of modest forecast here. You know, outdoor um, and sporting goods are something that actually did relatively well during the pandemic. People wanted to get outside, right? So what exactly is happening now? What's reflected in those Dick's numbers? Well, Julie, it's it's they had a good quarter. Right? And you put up over 19 percent same store sales increase. That was really good. A lot of Macy's would certainly kill for a number like that. So would Kohl's. Uh, but it comes down to guidance here. And at the end of the day, the high end of Dix's sales and earnings guidance, the high end still suggests sales, sales and earnings will be down year over year after a very strong year last year. And that's all the market cares about right now. Yeah, looks that way. All right. Uh, yeah, we're seeing. That drop not quite as, as painful as Stitch Fix for